Hey, how's it going guys? My name is Jackie Fish and welcome to Warcraft Total War. This is obviously a medieval two conversion mod for the World of Warcraft universe or just Warcraft as many people know it as. And I thought I what I'd do is I'd dive into this mod as Warcraft 3 Reforged has just been released. Could be kind of fun and people might want to try and itch that scratch that they have for the universe. And what better to do that in than a Total War game. So as you can see, the campaign itself is pretty goddamn large you have the most of the main islands um, it isn't going to be obviously as super up to date as maybe the, the latest expansions and stuff like that but you have a ton of stuff and a ton of factions as you can see if I just cycle through a few of them you can play as a bunch of different lords and uh, yeah really dominate on the battlefield obviously you're going to have their own commander units I believe there are custom settlements and you can see some of the really cool units down here the unit specialties you can get a red dragon as the dark horde some of these insane beasts and yeah you can see kind of everything else and all the other factions that you can bring to bear so i definitely think it is a very very exciting mod and definitely one you should check out i'll leave a link to tsj's uh in installation guide in the description down below if i had a little bit of trouble installing it but i followed his guide and it was very very simple to get it to work so what i thought instead of doing like a campaign or anything like that what we do today is just jump into a cool custom battle we'll probably you know go ahead and fight outside of Stormwind and I get to show you guys some of the cool looking units and other stuff because as you can see if we go to the late period of all units you guys can take a look at all the different ones you can bring I mean the roster is pretty goddamn huge I mean just take a look at that there is a lot of units for a lot of these factions uh, again if we switch over to maybe like the Horde for example you can see everything that they're bringing uh, if we move and make our way over yeah perfect like you can see a lot of Turans there a lot of Trolls Wolf Riders Shamans Warlocks like there's a lot of units and a lot of beast units as well, which I think Medieval 2 does do so well. And then if, I don't know, if you take another faction like Burning Legion, you'll be able to see their forces as well. Lots of monsters, lots of dangerous beings. So if you guys do know how to get custom maps to work for this mod, let me know in the description down below as I'd love to take out uh, some of them and give them a go in like a cool scenario battle or something along them lines. What we're going to do today is just have a 1 vs 1, you know, me vs the NPC and see some of these units on the battlefield as I'm really looking forward to seeing them. But if you guys do want to see custom battles and multiplayer battles with this mod, let me know in the description. If you have any good replays, send them my way. So let's go ahead, I'll go ahead and build the armies off camera and we'll dive into it on the battlefield. Okay guys, so we are now in the game, I have set up my formation and the Orc Horde is running towards me. We're going to have to obviously defend this ground at all costs, at least I hope they are. Maybe I will. I selected uh, defending instead for them, instead of attacking. But either way, before that happens, let's go ahead and take a look at some of the awesome units that we have at our disposal. So my General's Bodyguard is just going to be this unit of Knight's Bodyguard, uh, you know, pretty aptly named I would say. And again, they look pretty awesome, I love the uh, Stormwind colour on them and as, as i said and as you guys saw there's like a good you know 15 plus factions so there's a lot of detail and a lot of love poured into a lot of these units then we have a unit of mages some really strong missile units that will tear apart the uh, my opponent i also have some of these dwarven riflemen and i love the way that all their colors are completely different you know, colors they look really nice indeed then we just have some normal human archers nothing too special here whatsoever uh, then next to them we do have a unit of dismounted paladins they look extremely bright probably because of my reshader uh, that I'll just take off you can maybe get a better view of them like so um, but again they look pretty awesome indeed then on my right flank I do have some Dalaran spearmen so I'm kind of bringing a few more other humans to the fight they can form kind of a cool uh, special ability but we're not going to use that quite yet no need to it so some Dalaran uh, infantry supporting us I also on my front line just have some human footmen um, again, you know, nothing more to say than them. They, they just move. They do look great for medieval too. They look awesome. Finally, I have on this flank just two units of pikemen in a pretty cool pike formation, uh, supported by some vanguard, basically two heavy uh, hand infantrymen. Uh, and then finally, we do have a mod golem back here protecting us uh, with some artillery, which is actually just loading, uh, mastered by the dwarfs as well, which I like to see. And then finally, we do have a unit of Agent Dawn, uh, uh, sorry, Argent Dawn uh, cavalry as well, so some extra knights coming to help us out. But if we take a look at the Orc formation as we start to bombard them, they're going to obviously, because it's the AI, kind of form up their infantry in a little kind of weird ways and just charge forward, but I guess that's for the Horde, even though obviously a lot later they do get a lot stronger and a lot smarter, a lot more tactical 
um, as they go on. We also have a really cool unit, and this is probably my favorite unit for, as my artillery finds its mark away. It could be my mages, maybe. Uh, but it just looks really, really awesome, this unit of blade masters. Uh, I mean, it just looks great. There's nothing more to say. I love the flags on their back, and uh, yeah, their swords, and I don't know. I just feel like there's something about this game that just fits really nicely into Medieval 2. But I've given them some Orc Archers back here. We have some uh, of these Dark Spear Shadow Hunters as well. So we've got some Trolls in there. Uh, they do also have some good Tuscan Raiders as well. So here's Corcoran. Uh, is he? Where is he? Somewhere around here. Yeah, right there in his awesome looking armor. Um, and then I also gave him a Bodyguard as well somewhere. Not too sure where that is. Got another unit of Orc Berserkers here. So these guys are just giving these huge ass axes and told to go forward. As my mages are just bombarding them. The AI does not seemingly want to fight me. Uh, so maybe we're going to have to go and get it. I'm just looking for a, a certain unit. They have some Kaidos somewhere. Um, but I don't seem like I can see them. Maybe they're on this flank. Uh, yeah, well, we have some more of these, uh, yeah, some of these bad boys right here. With their huge ass kind of uh, uh, statue poles ready to, to cause a smackdown. But I think we're going to have to advance our formation as, as much as I don't really want to. It doesn't seem like the AI wants to get too stuck in. Maybe we can encourage them to come forward by just advancing forward our bow line. So let's, let's see if we can do that. The archer line should probably be pretty close to getting in range. Let's advance forward some of our bowmen, and we can also watch on cinematic as well. Unfortunately, we have to do this every time whenever we want to go on cinematic, but still looks cool nonetheless. So it's so, so much nicer in the later versions of the game where they allowed you just to simply click a button and the UI would go away. Um, unfortunately, though, Medieval 2 is not quite that game. So let's advance forward our bowmen, see if that will encourage the Orc Horde to come forward, because at the moment, they're taking pretty heavy fire from my Dwarven Cannon. Uh, and yeah, my mages aren't actually shooting quite yet. But maybe with my archers being advanced forward, uh, the AI is going to be a little bit more likely to come forward, or at least obviously get into range with their own missiles. And yeah, there you go. You can see the orcs moving forward as my archers continue to fire. Sorry, I'm trying to move the mouse cursor out of the way. Again, there's no way to get rid of it in these uh, later games. So I'm just kind of popping up all the UI that's, that's currently hidden. Uh, but yeah, as you can see, we're doing some good damage to them. Uh, I don't know, I'm kind of feeling like the orcs are being a bit cowardly, and I might have to go and charge forward myself. So let's uh, let's go back onto normal mode, and we will advance forward our army and, and give them hell, because right now the orcs are, are being, you know, just scared of me, and let's, let's, we don't want to have any of that. So let's just advance forward some of our infantry. We'll obviously make sure we secure the flanks with a nice little setup there. We'll make sure we get a pike over, because... I'm assuming the AI just to rush me as soon as I get relatively close. Um, and we obviously want to avoid that as best as we can. I mean, they might even be coming at me right now. So, we have to be a little bit careful. Let's just get our Vanguard up here. Vanguard will be very useful. Same with this mob golem as well. Uh, we can kind of maybe push our mages into range as well. As that cannon just fires up another brutal volley. Push forward these guys. Push forward our paladins as well. Uh, basically, just act as like a nice little defensive position. I might send some of the Argent Dawn infantry off to the side and our king can just move forward a little bit. Uh, hopefully our front line will be able to get into range and they've got some scary units. It looks like we're having a counter charge here maybe. Oh, these blade masters are not going to be good. I'm hoping that everyone can get into formation quickly uh, before I'm going to run them now as the blade masters get up. And we just about get into formation as the blade masters come crashing into my battle line. Oh, baby, this is going to be one hell of a battle as they continue to come in. Yeah, definitely try and focus down these mad hunters. Uh, maybe give them a good old fire volley as well. Try and bring down their general. Uh, we'll give them a volley and hope for the best. As I said, we do have plenty of reserves and our pikes are in a nice little pike wall. So even though they are clashing against us, it shouldn't really hurt us too much. And we'll be able to hopefully bring them down. You see the fire arrows coming off. <laughs> Unfortunately, that doesn't quite, uh, yeah, as you can tell there, it's not really the, uh, the best voiceovers quite yet in this mod. We'll throw our cavalry in against them as well, in the hopes that we'll be able to bring down some of these guys. It seems like our, our cavalry did a pretty decent job, if I'm honest, uh, of charging in against the Durans. But, you know, still, they're starting to come in, so let's see if our paladins can have any better luck. Uh, I'm not sure if the paladins do get any special abilities on, on this unit. Doesn't look like they do, I can't really see it up there, but now the paladins are stuck in. They'll be using their holy light. Um, and again, before I get the comments, I know I'm going to get these comments when people are probably already turned off. 
I know people were going to say, well, why the hell did they not just make this for Warhammer? You know, you have the magic, you have, uh, you know, monstrous units and stuff. Unfortunately, the Warhammer 2 Total War and Warhammer uh, just don't have the, the modding tools that Medieval 2 have. Uh, they basically have hardly any modding tools whatsoever in Warhammer, so uh, you, you can basically not import any assets, which means you can't make mods like this, or, you know, it's quite hard to make other mods in general, as you can only really change stats and kind of uh, change the assortment of uh, armor um, that is already in the game. So it kind of really, really sucks the, the capability, but obviously that's something that you know, Games Workshop want to protect their IP. Um, but you know, games like Medieval 2 um, do give you the opportunity to do, do stuff like this. And as you can see, it's just absolutely epic because, I mean, you wouldn't really tell that this is like a, you know, a 15 year old game or, or an 18 year old game or however old it is. It's pretty goddamn old. And as you can see, it looks absolutely amazing still as the infantry continue to fight. Um, so yeah, if you guys want, if you guys have any cool ideas or scenarios you really want me to do in this mod, I'd be happy to do it. So let's uh, let's actually start playing properly now because I think the orcs a pretty heavy advantage. Um, oh my god, they've completely come around my flank as well. Uh, so let's fall back there. Let's get our rangers to fall back. The mod golem can continue to sort of wreck havoc. It does seem like some of my vanguards are now stuck in. But the vanguards are doing the lord's work back here. Uh, it does seem like we've managed to get a bit stuck in here, but that's fine. We'll go on to uh, run to melee mode, and we will... Is it shift or ice? Oh, and we'll just get stuck in. And with the mod golem here, uh, he should be more than capable of just smacking away some filthy orcs. Not too much issue, especially with the vanguard being advanced forward as well. Uh, and the pike line holding admirably. Uh, definitely respect that pike line for holding. Uh, we probably should turn everything that we do have left just to shoot these Kaidos. And where are our mages at? Mages are all the way back here. Um, these uh, guys are actually charging. Let's turn the dwarfs around and just let the, uh, let the mages go ham. I never actually advanced the mages. They just shoot out basically magic bolts. Uh, I guess you could call it just arcane bolts or something like that. Uh, they do some really good damage, especially in a line. They can just really wreck your opponents. My cavalry is locked into combat with the Toran Warriors, which we probably shouldn't do, especially as Pikemen there as well. Let's just try and get out of there. The uh, Paladins are doing great, though. Paladins are definitely killing themselves a handful of Orcs. However, we do have some Troll Raptors going in as well. Looks so cool. And these guys throw javelins. The Trolls are obviously very much, uh, you know, missile-dependent hunters. Uh, and they do plenty of damage. It does seem like, for the most part, though, we are getting kind of enveloped here. We're going for a nice little charge there. Our generals obviously managed to get away, uh, so continue to run, my dude. The Argent Dawn Cavalry is basically dead, but that's fine. Uh, the Dwarfs can continue to volley in here and help out. So they should just form a nice little line and then fire in to this big clump of, of Tauren Warriors and also the York Spearmen. I think they should be more than in range as well. I think they have to wait until everyone gets in. Um, but yeah, it should be a nice volume. I should take down a handful of them. My front line has been completely overrun. I definitely did give the AI uh, maybe a few too many bonuses. Um, oh god, the Turin warriors are running towards us. Brave dwarves, prepare your guns and fire! Fire! They need to, yeah. The, the arcane mages took down a couple of them, but these dwarves just aren't going to fire. And that's going to be the death of them. They just got the volley off, but it just didn't really work. And now the warriors will come in. Yeah. Oh my god, look at them! Arcane bolts, they're doing so much damage. Uh, really a disgusting amount. As you can see, the battle is looking pretty dire right now. Our general can go in there, maybe whip up some kills over there. Um, but he's going to get stuck down pretty heavily. The mod golem as well is doing a great job at just killing a large portion of these. But we do have the elite uh, Kron, uh, Core Kron's uh, bodyguard here as well. Doing some serious damage. And now the trolls are being committed into the battle as well. With these awesome blades and crossbows. At least I think they have crossbows on their back. I don't know, they're just more like beating sticks. Cavalry diving in as well. Cutting them down. So obviously you can imagine on a campaign, like, get some pretty crazy battles uh, fighting against all the characters. And I'm pretty sure, as I said, there's custom maps in the game. And there's also custom events and stuff. But the music's great as well. Unfortunately, I've had to play... Uh, well, not unfortunately, because the music's amazing. But I'm playing some of the Horizon Wardor soundtrack in the background because the music is heavily copyrighted. So I don't want to get striked and have my channel deleted. So instead, you can just watch these awesome warriors fighting hard on the battlefield. And yeah, my general's doing a pretty good job. Come back, Howard. He's pretty French, though. The Yorks are swarming. My, uh, oh no, my general's been killed now. That's not good. Yeah, this is definitely the end. My pikes have uh, basically built a mountain of a... Oh my god, dude. 
We've killed their warlord, but I just, <laughs> just, just shush, shush, my dude. You have, uh, you have overgone your welcome, you French dog. The mage is still shooting you. The mage is also just lopping off shots left, right, and center. Uh, they're going to go down pretty soon. The dwarves, oh my god, the dwarves actually managed to kill the uh, Turin hunters. Wow, that's pretty impressive. Oh, actually, probably what happened, though, was um, they carried on shooting. Like, the front lines engaged as more arcane missiles come in. Um, yeah, probably what happened was that they engaged them on the front line. And then the back line just carried on shooting. Uh, it's seemingly like we might actually have this one. Well, we might actually have a bit of a comeback here. Our general's bodyguard, even though he's dying, is slaughtering the, uh, the orc archers. They have a handful of men back here, but in Pike Wall, we should be able to support that mod golem uh, pretty nicely. Definitely want to try and kill the berserkers. Our mages are dead now because the blade masters have engaged them, and that's going to be uh, basically it now for them. I don't think they're going to survive against orc blade masters in melee. But once again, our, our, our you know our dwarven missiles are doing a great job. Our general just took a lot of casualties there. Keep fighting hard. Um, and I don't know, maybe we can repel the rest of these guys. It's all up to the vanguard that we have set up here. As you can see, some of the Kaidos dropped dead. And I don't know if there's something you guys noticed during the battle is that the Kaidos actually were throwing uh, axes, well, not the Kaidos, the, the orcs riding them, were throwing javelins and stuff, which were pretty cool. Yeah, I mean, we're, we're definitely killing uh, more and more of their units. Got another unit of vanguards here. The missiles are, are very much dead, though, but these guys are almost taken care of. Some units routed there. Enemy killed as well. If we can finish off the rest of these orc spearmen, we can turn our guns onto the blade masters and uh, basically bring them down. We also do have a pretty nice unit here of our pikemen as well. Definitely want to try and get the pikemen stuck in because this mud golem is absorbing hits. He is tanking them, doing exactly what he needs to do. And if these pikemen can come in and just reinforce... Um, and yeah, just clear out the rest of these grunts. Because again, these guys aren't exactly very strong. Then, but maybe we stand a chance. Um, but yeah, definitely if we're, we're going to win, it's going to be heavily down to them Dwarven Warriors coming back and just giving us some extra fire support. Let's see, the Men of Stormwind though. Uh, this is probably pretty dire news though. The Blade Masters are going to come in. And if they get into the back of my pike line, yeah, it's not going to look good. Uh, you guys are still fighting. You need to all just get stuck in, boys. You can't just, like, half of you not really worry about that. Whip out your hammers and start crushing some orc skulls. They're just orc spearmen. They shouldn't be too scary. So, go, go. Our general is finally about to die. The last lone horseman with his lance out, fighting a whole wealth of enemy units. Uh, Pikemen are stuck in there. You can see the bodies piling up. Maybe our swords are going to start to drop now. Especially over here, I think we're going to get enveloped there. Uh, yeah, with the, the sword masters came flying into the back, and you can see we are getting crunched, even with our golem in the distance. Doing a pretty admirable job. Yeah, it's just not going to be enough. We managed to capture 11 people, but that's it. Oh, nice, our missile did manage to win. Uh, there's just some orc archers who killed my archers there. We routed them, which is nice. I guess we could definitely try something. Yeah, uh, throw the mod golem in and uh, try his best. We got our, our missile line here as well. We go back onto normal speed. You can see them about to fire a volley. Getting a pretty good volley off there. But didn't kill many of them. And now they're going to come in. And yeah, it's going to be the dwarfs. The mod golem though is still fighting bravely on. And uh, I say that. We've actually managed to kill everything here. I mean, look at that battle line set up like so. I think we might actually have this battle. If I just triple speed through it. We just need to kill the blade masters. And if the blade masters die, we actually... Uh, win pretty nicely because the rest of these guys are now broken. Uh, the hunters are holding. Man, I did not think we were going to win this battle. Uh, but this mod golem literally just clutched us a battle. Um, I doubt that these uh, blade masters are going to end up routing, but uh, besides that, yeah, I think, think we win. Uh, you guys can just yeah, charge into them. Yeah, finish off the rest of the blade masters. Um, and then this is GG. Uh, probably should throw this mud golem into the archers as well just to stop them from shooting. It seems like our five lone rangers uh, have, have won and they're cheering on, aren't they? Look at them go. And we managed to wrap the missiles there with our with our mud golem. Perfect. Um, so what's even left? Just literally just, uh, yeah, there you go. Victory is ours. We managed to win a pretty nice battle. Uh, indeed, I didn't think it was going to be that close. 
I mean, take a look at the kills. Uh, if you guys are interested in it, you can see my, my Stormwind Vanguard doing basically the most amount of damage uh, right there. And that was, that was awesome. That was really, really cool. It's a very fun mod. I highly recommend you guys check it out for the campaign because, yeah, you can have some really good fun. Actually, I'm, I'll load him uh, really quickly into the campaign uh, so you guys can kind of see a little bit more about it because, yeah, it's really awesome. And uh, I guess this will be a nice treat for those of you who made it to the end of the video. I assume some of you guys are probably downloading it as you're watching this video. Um, so we'll just load in. I can, I can probably toggle Fog of War and show you guys the entire map and you guys can get a pretty good idea. So yeah, this is uh, the, the map itself. You've got some really awesome setups and I think the terrain is really nicely done. Um, obviously, you've got a huge scale over here. And I think if we just... Uh, what's the key? Is it toggle? Is it that? Yeah, there you go. And you guys can get a good glimpse of everything, all the different... Uh, map setups and, and where every faction is. Obviously, if you go to the Horde over here as well, you can see Orgrimmar and all the other famous cities. Plenty of Horde armies set around. And lots of land to be conquered. Uh, lots of different lords and, and factions. Um, so yeah, plenty of stuff to, uh, to, to have fun with in this mod and I highly recommend that you guys check it out. So yes, I will see you guys in the next one. Subscribe if you haven't already as I upload every single day and fish out.